I'm not usually one to indulge in drama or be involved or make videos on drama, but God basically just threw this right in my face and said, if you do not make a video on this, I'm going to smite you right where you stand. Because the setup for this could not have been more perfect. God literally just alley-ooped me and I'm coming in for the slam dunk, basically. I just finished recording and editing a video about cancel culture, and I plan on uploading it tomorrow, but this video will be out the day after my cancel culture video, but I'm recording it right after I finished editing it, if that makes any sense for you guys out there. I mean, it don't really make much sense for me, but I'm sure most of you are smarter than me. But I feel like I would just be kicking God right in his ball sack if I did not take action on this, because it's literally set up so perfectly, just beautifully fits into the timeline of the videos that I'm a, I've made recently. And today, I started seeing the thing going around, like, call me Carson in Discord topping, but when do you turn 18? And I was like, thank you, man, looking out for me, dude. Get me them YouTube views, you know what? God has always wanted me to get them views up. He's always been telling me that. <laughs> but yeah, I seen that, and I was like, this this can't be a coincidence. I have to make a video on this. My first, uh, is this my first drama video? I don't know. My first big drama video, let's call it. So yeah, that, what I'm talking about is the Call Me Carson developments, where he's supposedly soliciting a minor, you know, like talking to an underage girl, but it's basically like the new fad for what YouTubers do on YouTube now. If you're a YouTuber, famous YouTuber, you just talk to underage girls. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. But anyways, let's get straight to the facts and the business here. I'm going to throw up a few screenshots that I've found of the text and stuff that's been leaked or whatever. And I also, I want to preface this before I show all the screenshots and talk about it and everything. I'm not a lawyer. I didn't go to Harvard and, like, gangbang 12 guys to get into law school and, like, practice lawyering, however you do that. But I don't know much about laws, so don't hold me to it if I say something wrong, you know, about the laws of talking to underage girls and all that, so like, nudes and just... You'll understand when I start talking about it. I'm not the most educated man in the world when it comes to laws. Let's just put it as that. So now that I've prefaced that so no one can roast me in the comments saying that, you know, like, you don't know nothing, you dumb hillbilly, you dumb redneck. I don't know nothing, but at least I said I don't know nothing before I start saying stuff, right? So now let's get into the meat of this video. You, you like what I did there? You know, a little kind of like a penis joke or something like that. Let's just get into it. So here's some of the first chat parts that I'm going to look at, and then we'll just scroll through her Twitter and see what else she's posted on there because she's the one leaking all this stuff. So here he says, You like bikinis? She says, See, they're comfy, but I never go outside. You bikini type of gal? One pieces are uncomfortable. Fun fact again, bikinis are just better. I used to do gymnastics. <laughs> she's all over the place. Insecurity time. I got a forest down under that I haven't bothered to cut or anything. I'm pretty bad and <laughs> it's pretty bad and I need to attend to it, but I'm lazy. I just want to know in what world you message a girl and you tell her you have a giant bush above your wiener. Like, why would you ever tell that to someone? I got a mad forest growing down there. My pubes are like a jungle, dude. I got little fleas flying through and everything, little lice bugs and some, some crabs and everything. Dude, it's like, it's like a jungle. It's like a forest. Dude, I can't, I can't even cut it with scissors anymore. I just don't. That's literally probably the worst thing you can say to a person. No nude photography, so I do not care. I only care about nude bodies. Nudies are a no-no. Stop. Jidhuf. When do you turn 18? And that's that's all I have here. And now we're going to go scroll through her Twitter and see if we can find some more meat and potatoes. Alright, I don't know what happened to my dark mode. Apparently, I had dark mode on before, but it's just gone now, so... Uh, yeah, we're just going to... Just don't crucify me for not having dark mode on Twitter. I'm sorry, I don't get on here. Okay, so her pinned tweet, grooming pedophilia Carson situation. I can personally come out and say that I've been groomed by Carson. I've talked to many people and never came out about it since now. At the time, I was still 17 and in high school. And I did also want to touch on the part of the age gap. You know, most people are saying 17 to 19 is not a big deal. And I agree with that. I know a lot of people that are dating like 19. They're 19 and they're dating a 17 year old. It happens a lot, especially in high school. And I'm in high school right now. Okay, so apparently this person was groomed by Carson too. May through June 2019 started when I, he shared my grad photo on Instagram May 22nd. This is all I have. I was 17 at the time, blah, blah, blah. So apparently she was, she was Snapchatting him. Okay, so apparently he was doing sexual stuff with this person too. I don't know about the ages and all that. She's saying she was 17 at the time. I don't know about that. I'm not going to comment on that situation because I, I don't want to get into some deep water here over stuff I literally have no idea about. I said my piece about the Carson situation yesterday under the pretense that it would be used in Keem's video, but it wasn't. I didn't feel well enough mentally at the time to be interviewed. Thank you, Noah and Travis, for going on. Carson told me that what he told Travis a few minutes before I cut ties shortly after. My heart goes out to anyone affected by the actions of Carson. 
And also another thing that I kind of feel bad for Carson is, is all those people that he's made content with and grew their channels alongside him, they basically just threw him out into the ocean without any floaties on. He's just drowning right now in the ocean. They're just watching him, watching him on their speedboat. Like, they just threw him overboard and just said, yeah, peace out, Carson. <laughs> this guy, pff, we don't know him anymore. And it's not even like he did something inherently wrong. Being 19 and being with a 17-year-old is not illegal. But yeah, my biggest problem with that is just them just abandoning him. They completely outright disowned him and abandoned him over something that he technically hasn't broke the law. So I guess it shows you who your true, who your, your true friends are. That's just honestly kind of makes me feel bad for the guy. Images of child pornography are not protected under First Amendment rights and are illegal contraband under federal law. Section 2256 of Title 18 under United States Code defines child pornography as any visual dis depiction of sexually explicit conduct conduct involving a minor, someone under the ages, someone under 18 years of age. So technically it is illegal under the, I, I mean, I knew that obviously. I knew Section 2256 of the Title 18 of the U.S. Co the States Code. I'm Knew that already, obviously. So in this situation, if he does have pictures of her nude, then he would be very much in the wrong because she was 17 at the time and he was 19. So no matter how much you think two years is not a bad age gap, it's still technically illegal under the law. So, I mean, you can't really... If it's against the law, then it's against the law. That's just simple as it is. From what I can tell, most people were finding their problems and issues with this. The Basically, the way he was talking to her... And they were like, it was like sexually charged conversation is what people see wrong with it the most. At least, that's what I see wrong with it the most. Just the way that they were communicating. You know, it really, for me, just comes down to a moral thing. Like, he, it feels like to me he was using his power and, like, fame, notoriety to, like, seduce the girl in since she was already a fan of his. And then keep her in there, like... I don't know, it's just, the whole thing just feels off, using, like, the power to exchange nudes and just talk to this girl in the sexual way. If you ask me, there was no true love or any love at all in those conversations. I think it was just a guy that was wanting to sex with a girl and a girl that was a fan of a guy that seen him as a powerful, high-status man and was willing to sexually exchange pictures and texts with him. She posted a de the definition of grooming. You know, I can't help but think that she's just doing this because he's famous now. Like, I just, I don't know. There's just weird vibes all around when people come out with stuff like this. You're also 17, and that gives me the heebie-jeebies. What are you doing, cat? There's a cat over there. <laughs> what am I cat doing? Yo! <laughs> what are you doing, cat? Sorry for breaking your immersion while we were trying to find out if Carson's a pedophile or not. I just had to show you my cat was jumping up on my dresser. I didn't even know it was in here. So yeah, right before I said the thing about the cat, he acknowledges that she's 17 and it gives him the heebie-jeebies because he was 19 at the time. I guess we stick to the plan. Uh, I guess the plan was not to tell. <laughs> my feelings are in a mess over mine. My brain keeps telling me I should stop talking to girls, period. Full stop. He thought about turning gay. Can't blame him. My brain is at the point... Of knowing this is wrong, but I really don't want to stop. What makes you want it so badly? We could just talk. No dating, no sexting. You can just message me and chat whenever. That'll be fine. Future. Yeah, I don't know. I want a girlfriend, but I'm scared about having a girlfriend. You're all 17. Makes it a little more unstable. Side. <laughs> but my mind is saying F it. So she's going along with it. Oh, she was 17 at the time, so obviously she wasn't too much of a small child where she didn't know what she was doing. This is a lot of reading. This is the most reading I've done in my whole life. I didn't even read this much in, like, grade school. The book fair, maybe. My mind is all over the place. Should we stick to the plan, not talk for a year, maybe? I just, what is the plan? I want to see, I want to know what the plan is. Is that what you think is best? I think so. Also, your hair, <laughs> hair kind of looks really good. Well, I'll bring that up in the middle of a serious conversation. You're welcome, but I think we should stick to the plan. So, what is, the, I want to know what the plan is. You're not saying, I think we should stick to the plan. All I know is every time I jack off now, I have a really hard time not thinking of you. This man's down bad. He's down horrendously in this video. Okay. You got me effed up, Sam. Uh, yeah, LMAO. You got me effed up too. It's a mutual thing. Yeah, why are they talking on Discord? I don't get this. Discord's a weird place to talk to a girl. What if we agree out on Snap and next time you're horny we have some fun again? I just don't know that to be the only thing we do, you know? Yeah, but F Sam, you're so hard to resist. Digging yourself a deeper hole as we go down the rabbit hole, Carson. Uh, 
have some fun when next time we're horny on Snapchat. My first, my cat's still walking around up there. He's wilding. Neither can I. That's why I sent it in the first place. Okay, so they both can't control themselves. They're just taking pictures of their genitalia. Dude, I can't resist it. Oh my god, send it to them, baby. Yeah! Look at my bush! So hairy! <laughs> I, can't, I can't help but make jokes. This is, uh... Sorry if it's unprofessional. I'm not a drama channel. This is, uh... <laughs> it's too funny. I'm not saying soliciting monitors is funny. That's not funny. See? Straight face. It's not funny. It's not funny. What do you want? My cat's meowing now. Where are you at? Yo, what do you want? Do you want to come over here to say hi to the camera? Come here. Yeah, and it was amazing. I'm not going to act like I didn't want it. I wanted it too. I don't regret it. But she's saying she didn't regret it, but now she's saying... She I'm guessing she does now since she's uh, exposing him to the world. This man's career is more than likely gone, so... <laughs> It's just it's just the coincidence I'm making this after making the cancel culture video. Ah, this is uh yeah. This is this is definitely something cancel culture is going to want to get their hands on. They definitely already got their hands on it. Oh shoot. And once cancel culture gets a hold of you on Twitter, <laughs> you're done. Oh hey cat. You wanna be on the camera now? What's up, kitty cat? Say hi to the camera. Say hi guys. Hi guys. Oh my god, you farted. I'm gonna let this cat out before she gasses my room up and makes me choke to death. Jesus, that was bad. That was horrendous. She's camera shy. Jesus Christ, she just pooped on herself. Dude, that smells so bad. Alright, I'm back. I tried to find a gas mask to put on because, God, that was a horrendous fart. That was one of the worst farts I've ever smelt. <laughs> that was that was bad. So, well, I don't know where we left off. The cat fart kind of just dis scrambled my head. I don't, I don't know where I was, but... But I like I but like I said I don't want it to be just sexual you know which I wouldn't mind calling and watching S together playing something you feel yeah I feel you just hit me up next time you're horny I'll leave it up to you when we do sexual stuff this dude does not want to watch stuff with her or play games with her this dude wants this dude wants sexual pictures only this dude is horny horny this might be the worst case of horny I've ever seen in a man hey uh check snap. Playing League, give me a sec. He definitely sent her a wiener picture out there, no doubt about that. And yeah, Colin Carson did admit to all these things that he's been accused of, you know, exchanging nudes and talking to the 17-year-old girl. He admitted she was 17 and everything. He's admitted all of it to, he's all, he's owned up to it. I would imagine he's going to make a, like, apology video or an addressment video in the very near future talking about the whole thing. Honestly, this is like a, this is one of those situations where I don't really know how to feel about it, like... I don't really hate the guy for it, but I don't really, like, fully support him either. I'm just kind of, like, watching from the sidelines. I'm, like, the kid that's not good enough to play on the field, but I'm also not bad enough to never be subbed in. I'm just kind of sitting there on the, the close end of the bench to the coach, just kind of waiting for my opportunity. <laughs> At least he was man enough to own up to it. You know, most people would try to deny the allegations and say they were fake and fabricated she wasn't really 17 she was 18 but you got to give the man props for at least admitting everything was true it was real it was legitimate like it actually went down it happened he owned up to it and you got to give anyone props for doing that especially when they're being publicly outed like this on twitter especially the cancel culture thing i've already mentioned how much i absolutely despise that and on top of the carson situation we learned that cat farts smell like absolute death it smells like you're inhaling the grim reaper's Toxic fumes after he just let him go from like Taco Tuesday night at his house. I believe that's it. That's that's all the drama I'm in for today. That's all the cat farts I'm in for today as well. I don't want to experience any of those things again. I'll see you next time. Peace out.